morning students we are welcome back to our 8th standard max class today we are going to learn here the graphical representation of the frequency distribution for grouped data frequency distribution for grouped data means here which are the pictures we are going to draw using histogram frequency polygon frequency curve cumulative frequency curve okay graphical represent graph means we know it contains both x and y axis it's a picture now listen the line graph the bar graph pictograph and the pie chart are the graphical representation of the frequency for ungrouped data what is mean by ungrouped data in the previous classes the previous videos you can watch i am um, once, once again i am saying ungrouped data means an ungrouped data can assume only whole numbers and the exact measurement for example ungrouped data means the values of in the x axis must whole numbers means 10 20 etc whole numbers but for this grouped data means is there any value with a certain interval it continues a continuous data can be tabulated okay grouped data means or grouped data is otherwise known as continuous data here in this x axis for ungrouped data the values lie just like this 10 20 40 30 etc for grouped data it continues 10 to 20 next 20 to 20 to 30 in the same manner going next 30 to 40 that one is continuous grouped data okay now listen if our ungrouped data which uh, figures we can draw histogram frequency polygon frequency curve cumulative frequency curves are the sum of the graphical representation of the frequency distribution for grouped data okay now see the graph graphic ungrouped data we can draw line graph bar graph pictograph pie chart for grouped data histogram frequency polygon frequency curve cumulative frequency curve in this class first we are going to learn about histogram now see histogram is a graph of continuous frequency distribution this one you know continuous if the values are given in continuous frequency we can only we, then only we can draw what histogram graph now histogram contains a set of rectangles now see this one is rectangle okay a set of rectangles histogram contains a set of rectangles angles the base of which is the length of the class interval and the frequency in each class interval it is height base on the another length of the class interval and frequency on the another it's height that is the class intervals are represented on the horizontal axis this one is what horizontal axis is called x axis and the frequency are represented in the on the vertical axis we call that one as y axis did you understand what is mean by class interval no? continuous rate 50 to 60 next day first day you listen here the word 50 to 60 next day 60 to 70 80 this one is class intervals which indicates where on the x-axis there is no gap between this rectangle or histogram contains a set of rectangle there is no gap see the picture yes now the area of each rectangle is proportional to the frequency in respective class interval and the total area of the histogram is proportional to the total frequency okay next steps to draw construct a histogram represent the data in continuous form okay if it is in discontinuous means we want to convert and adjust to draw histogram did you understand if continuous data is in the histogram question la continuous data is in the histogram Continuous data convert panni da na chen draw. Next select the appropriate units along the x and y axis. You know the in x axis we want must we want to put which x which one class intervals and in the y axis we want to make the frequency we want to draw the frequency. Now plot the lower limits of the class interval on the x axis. Plot the frequency sum of the distribution on the y axis. Construct the rectangles with the class intervals as bases and corresponding frequency as height. This one is similar only given here. Each class has a lower value and upper value. Now for see this a 
rectangle here the lower value is what 50 the higher value is 60 in this rectangle second rectangle the lower value is 60 the upper value is 7 that is all. this gives us two equal vertical lines representing the frequency the upper end of the lines are joined together here we want to join this line and this and this process it will gives us rectangles if the class interval does not start at zero means you just put this in sing there is or not okay now listen here this note class intervals do not start from zero then it is indicated by drawing king zigzag mark on the x-axis near the if necessary the king mark may be made on y axis or on both the axis that is indicate we do not have data starting from the origin zero length start in the king okay six set this is about histogram now there is one difference between bar graph and histogram. bar graph we can try use ungrouped data but histogram we used grouped data now gap between the bars here no gap between the rectangle you see the picture now yes now height of each bar is important and not its width here height and width of each rectangle are equal this is about histogram okay now we can do the sums